Okay, so now we have um, C12, January 2018, IAL, question number 10, which is all about logarithms, which is a, a topic that many students do have difficulties with. They find it quite an alien type of topic. Okay, um, eventually I will, I will probably do some tutorials on this, but right now I'm just focusing on answering exam questions. So I won't go into too much detail, but basically there are three laws of logarithms. Okay, logarithms are basically the inverse of, uh, you know, exponents. So for example, um, let's say if I say uh, 2 to the power of 3 equals 8, if you want to write that in uh, logarithm form, you basically what you can say is it's like the log. Now the base is 2 here, right? So this is the base of the logarithm, 2. Okay, and this, the number that goes in this place is like the result of the exponent. So this is your 8. And this is your power. Okay, so this is like the base. Okay, and this is like your power. <clears throat> and this is like your answer, you could say, when you're talking about the original exponent form. So this is exponent form, and this is the log form. Okay, they're basically inverses of each other. Okay, vice versa. Okay, works. That that becomes that. So that's two to the power of three equals eight. Okay, that's the base. That's the power, and that's the result. That's the base. That's the power. That's the result. Okay, so that's uh, some you know basic stuff about logarithms. And then there's certain laws of logarithms, just like there's laws of exponents. Like for example, when we have a to the power of m times a to the power of n, we add the powers. Okay, same base multiplied. Okay, you add the powers on a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, you subtract the powers. It's m minus m. One second. That's m minus n. Excuse my handwriting there. m minus n. And if you have something that you raise, you have something to the power of something you raise to another power, you multiply the powers, m times n. Okay, so the laws of logarithms, logarithms have, to have their own laws, which are basically based on these. They are derived from these. I'm not going to go through that derivation right now, but they're derived from those. And there's basically three main laws that we need to know, that when you have two items to the same base, so say, say log A to the base AB, and you want to, uh, you, you're going to add log A to the base C, as long as they're the same base, you can you can basically combine them together with multiplication. That's, you multiply these numbers together, okay? That, that's equivalent, okay? Log to the base AB plus log to the base AC is equal to log to the base A of the product of those two, okay? That's, you know, the addition law becomes a, a, a product. It's kind of similar to that. It's like the, you know, vice versa of this thing, okay? And the division log A to the base B minus log to the base A of C, log to the base A of B minus log to the base A of C. Now you can kind of, I guess you can, you can guess, it's going to be division. B minus C, B divided by C. Okay, so log to the base A, B minus log to the base A, C can be combined into one logarithm as log to the base A of B over C. And then you have what's called the power law. Okay, so for example, you have log to the base A, B of say C. Now that can be written as C times log to the base A of B. Okay, that just multiplies with the, the front of the logarithm. Okay, so those three laws are the basis of all of these types of questions. Okay, and how to deal with them. So I'm going to now erase all of this as I continue answering the question. So this is something which is the basis, and you'll find these laws written in the, you know, the summaries of your chapters to do with logarithms, and you'll find them in lots of different places, okay? So it's basically exponents and logarithms are inverses of each other, and their laws are kind of a very similar type of laws, okay? Multiplication is associated with the addition, division is associated with the subtraction, okay? And this is like the power law, multiplication, and something to the power, okay? So I'm going to now cross this off and I'm going to answer the actual question. That was just a bit of a background for you, as logarithms is something which is very, um, I don't know, some, some students find it very alien. Maybe it's the way it's taught, I don't know, but they find it to be a very alien kind of topic and they don't really know what they're doing. It's like a lot of them just resort to memorizing what to do without having much understanding 
uh, which I don't personally like too much. But anyway, what we, what we see here is we have 3 log to the base 8 of 2 plus log to the base 8 of 7 minus x together equals 2 plus log to the base 8 of x. Now, when we want to solve an equation like this, what we want to do is we want to bring all of the log terms together on one side of the equation. We want to combine them all on one side. Okay, everything that says log, especially if they're the same base like this, bring them all on one side of the equation. Okay, what I'm going to do first, however, is I'm going to, um, at the same time, I'm going to convert this 3 log to the base 8 to, I'm going to use a power law, so I'll say log to the base 8 of 2 cubed. Okay, log to the base 8 of 2 cubed, plus, as you got here, log to the base 8 of 7 minus x. And I'm going to subtract this log to the base 8 of x. Log, whoops, the way around. <clears throat> log to the base 8 of x. And on that side, I've got 2. Now, one thing you should realize here is this is going to become, I'll just write it here, so log to the base 8 of 2 cubed is the same as log to the base 8 of 8. Now, when you have this situation, you've got the same base and the same number that it's uh, the log of, you'll realize that something, you know, this is the power. No, I won't put, I'll just put some other letter. I'm just showing you something on the sides, like a side issue. Okay, 8 to the power of something gives me 8. Well, that something must be 1. So log to the base 8 of 8 is 1. So this whole thing here becomes 1. Because this is like log to the base 8 of 8. 2 cubed is 8, right? So 8 to the power of 1 is 8. So anytime you have log to the base of something of itself, it's always going to give you 1. Okay? That's based on this um, you know, understanding of what logs mean. So that's one of the results that is quoted. Log to the base A of A is equal to 1 always. Okay? Log to the base B of B is always equal to 1. All right, now, plus... So now we've got uh, this situation. I'll just write them the step. Now, these two can, can be combined together because you're subtracting two log terms with the same base, and you're subtracting them so I can combine them with division. So I can, I can say this is log to the base 8 of the combination of 7 minus x divided by x equals 2. Now all I can do, all I need to do is I can subtract 1 from both sides to get rid of this 1. Okay, so I have log to the base 8 of 7 minus x over x is equal to 2 minus 1, which is 1. And now I can use the fact what this actually means. I can say, remember we said log to the base a of b is equal to c. What this actually means is, what this actually means is a to the power of c equals b. This is the base, this is the power, this is the result. This is the base, this is the power, and this is the result. Okay, so if we solve this simple equation now, it's 8 to the power of 1 is 8. 8 times cross multiply or multiply both sides by x, you have 8x is equal to 7 minus x. Bring the x's together, 9x is equal to 7. So x is equal to 7 divided by 9. And there we have the solution to this equation. And I will do part 2 in a separate video. Okay, this is a bit there to take in. Thank you for watching.